Hello! Welcome back to Shiny Solus Plays Murdered Soul Suspect. Now, our next trip is to the Salem History Museum. Well, let me just... I wonder if this is faster than actually running. Probably. Probably at least a little bit. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Now we'll Fitting for an investigation about a serial killer. All these murders have whipped this town into a frenzy. Now it all leads here to a gala celebrating a time when Salem found itself swept up in another whirlwind of hysteria. Ghost walls, very convenient. I'm so sorry. Tomorrow tickets will go on sale to the general public. Tonight is a special members only event. Huh. Hello, witch. I mean, a uh, ghost. I couldn't get out. The fire was merciless. Oh, you are a witch. Or, well, convicted witch who says you were actually a witch. Can I. That should be an opening. Boo! I should be able to possess her through here. Boo! Gather round and bear witness to the righteous proceedings of a trial of a, a, a most heinous nature. Now you, good woman Putnam, you stand accused of the murder of seven of your own children. Whom you claim were taken by forces of the devil. This freak show better give me some answers. I did not do it. <laughs> my devil's spawn of a child is my own accuser. As to bearing the spawn of the devil? I did only mean it as a term of anger that my own daughter would thus accuse me in my grief. And young Ruth Putnam, your own daughter, has testified to this court that you did take from her. And she began to have pains of the belly and bled most woefully from her. Oh, mother okay, I'm done. Was, was not the puppet used to inflict this suffering. I wanted to listen to it all, but then it got a little bit too weird for me. Examine details. Salem Witch Trial Judgment House. Owned by Judge Hathorne. One of the most... Oh, this is very difficult to read for me. Because of the font type and the coloring. It's very, very annoying to read. Anyways, owned by Judge Hawthorne, one of the most influential judges during the witch trials, this historic mansion also served as courtroom for many of the trials and sentencing hearings during the hysteria that blanketed Salem in 1692. Oh. oh, a trap door. The time is upon us, Abigail Ow. Williams. No. That's you scourge of Salem, it is time to pay for your sin. Oh, that's her. The ghost girl from the alleys is Abigail Williams, and this gallows was actually used to execute her centuries ago. Will I be able to make sure that she can move on because that would be nice I think hold on where did I come through before I do anything did you see all those police lights okay I, I got through here you came straight from a dinner in Boston maybe Jim knows oh, I'm sitting there Jim did you hear anything about a crime or something what? 
Ooh, almost. Can I... Can I walk in between? Oh my goodness, jeez, okay. Hi. Can I walk through here? Yeah, I can. Good, I did too. Museum date. Went to the museum, uh, history museum with Ronan again. He's not much of a history buff, but he knows I am. And he's so sweet to come with me. Ominous as it may be, I love that this little town has so much gravitas to it. <clears throat> That people have lived here for centuries. That helps me feel rooted to this place. Oh no. I collected a rock. And I need 14 of them. I don't care. I just want those letters between Ronan and... Uh, what's it? Julia. Julia. Okay, step out carefully. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate the placing of these. Can I... Why can I not... Why couldn't I travel over like that? That's dumb. Hello, rock. It looks like a rock anyways. I need to first go through here and then carefully between there because I don't know how finicky the game is. There we go. Okay, good. Anything? No. Good. Electric chair. Yay! Okay, I can walk through that wall and it'd be okay. Yeah, okay. Good. I can also walk through the wall like this. There we go. Alright. What's that? Oh, that must be the same area. Yep, same area. Okay. Good, good, good. I uh, don't think these guys can tell me anything. Inspect. Shame. I know it's not as awful as some of the things in here, but wouldn't it be awful? Being locked up in one of these things all day? I hate just the physical discomfort. Oh yeah, think of the physical discomfort, not anything else. What's over here? Oh. Okay, I can't get through there even if I wanted to. Let's move on. Something here? So it wasn't really a form of execution. Right. But someone still got killed by this. Yep. So Could you guys shut up? I want to listen. They were trying to get people to talk. They talk. How could they they talk with those heavy Could you shut lips? up? Jeez. Oh, talk. I remember a bright flash. And then nothing. Okay. Oh, my eyes so itchy. Ah, my eyes itchy. Oh, you guys shut up. It's it doesn't sound like a rope, and I really hope it's the same because that's how it sounds to me. Okay. Confess, witch. Confess. Your covenant. The demonic contract. And the dark forces. Mm-hmm. That contract.
German witch trial. During the European witch hunts, Germany executed between 50,000 and 80,000 people accused of being witches, of whom roughly 80% were women. was so loaded down with ammunition like we were a rolling bomb wasn't something like this used in a bell killer murder Yes, that would be Rose, burned to death, and torture? Yes, okay. So, Rose was burned to death on a stake just like this, so this guy's thinking some the people that are maybe psychics, he thinks that they're witches? I don't care about the plaques. Okay, what other clues are there? Ah, there we go. I was hoping that there would be one here, but it's so difficult to find the exact spot. Yes, there was. It was uh, Sophia. Water. Drown. Dunking torture chair. Oop, sorry. Conclude investigation. There must be a seventh, a seventh clue somewhere, right? What would the seventh, seventh clue be? Or would that be from me concluding the investigation? That's a tough one. Is there anything here? Maybe? Inspect. Yeah, I mean, it's Court here, records. I hey, there we go. Okay, now I can like conclude it. Shut up. So the bell killer used torture devices like this to kill his victims. Why kill them like witches? I'm surprised there's no exhibit for the accusers. It's such an important part of Salem's history. Actually, several artifacts aren't on display yet. We're currently preparing them upstairs in the restoration room. Better see what else is in here. There are many more artifacts upstairs in the restoration room that might relate to the Bell Killer case. Just make sure nobody touches anything. People think this is easy. That's okay. Not what the subtitles are saying, but sure. Just in case. <gasps> oh, great. Loud. This is so loud. Ah. 
hand is just so loud. Just like in real life there would be. Oh my gosh. Oh, so loud. So loud. Ow. Can I go? No, I have to go this way. Can the train shut up, please? Oh my gosh, where do I go? It's so loud. I'm sorry. It's so loud. It's so loud. It's so loud. It's so loud. Ow, it's so loud. It's so loud. Where do I go? Where do, where do I go? It's so loud, could the train please stop? I've already lowered the volume. I see. Jeez. Oh, there's a demon portal there. Great. And more Oof. I wonder if I could go there <gasps> nope <laughs> I sacrifice myself for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop. care about the flags. Collect. There we go. Oh my goodness. Stop. Train. Please stop. There we go. Holy cow. Can I go up? Yeah, I can. Good. I mean, why wouldn't I? Demons are gonna appear in this level at some point. Very, very soon, actually. Oh, right, now I can actually raise the volume again. Because I don't know how, how loud that was for anyone listening, so... I really am sorry, that really bothered the hell out of me myself.
Okay. I think that's it. Those two next to each other. That was a little bit too... I don't know. Anything else here? No? Okay. What now? Joy? I told you to look after Iris. You're not the boss of me. Do you want Iris dead? I found a bunch of stuff downstairs. Bell Killer is offing his victims as if they're witches. I'm heading upstairs to see what else I can find. I should have told you to follow me, and then maybe you would have stayed at the church. You know me so well. There we go. Stairs. Yep. Not going to talk? Okay, fine. Oop. Just keep an eye out for security cameras and alarms. Thanks for the tip, but this isn't even my first break in today. <laughs> yeah, this looks like the right place. Now let's see what these artifacts can tell me about the witch trials. But first, let's investigate everything else. Yes, like these. Where am I? Oh, there we go. Oops. Place. It puts me in touch with odd sensations, centuries old. I'm trying to focus on this killer, but the echoes from these sensations keep interfering, like deaths from the past, pleading to be remembered. Consecrated wall. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. Book of Engravings. William Pine's Book of Colour Engravings. The costume of Great Britain shows a rotating pillory that held four people at once as they walked around a post like mules grinding at a grinding mill. Jeez, oh, okay. Inspect, sure, why not? Lots of clues to inspect. Stuck in place. A large ship anchor. Oh, okay. Hold up. Let me actually go through the. There we go. Anything here? Inspect. Important message. An antique scroll. Examine details. Out. Oh, 
Serial killer targets are mediums. Did I not say that? Did I not? Did I not say that? Okay, nothing there. Anything on these tables? List of the accused. In the 1600s. Judgment. A judge's gavel. I wonder how old that is. Persecution. One of the existing witch trial related paintings previously used in the first floor exhibit. I think crystal? Yeah. Okay. My apologies. It will always belong to you. For oh, shame, Bridget. This shroud of your conversations with the spirit world will surely condemn you as a witch. Hmm. Puritans considered anyone exhibiting median like abilities to be witches. Distress calls. Navigation. Ship's pinnacle. Okay. Oh. Wine. A large barrel used for making wine. Or even transporting it, perhaps? Judge. Civil War. nice that a lot of them are just highlighted with a big light lighting them up, you know. Makes it a whole lot easier <laughs> to find these clues. <laughs> oh. Ah, Baxter, what are you doing here? you to lift up this painting. Can't you polargeist it or something? <laughs> Sorry. It's called Is it a bell? A hanged witch. It's creepy. Oh. What do you know? It's the killer symbol. A ghostly version of the bell killer symbol is on a painting called The Hanged Witch. Baxter hurried to hide the painting when someone approached him up here. Why hide it and what is he do was he doing here in the first place? Yeah. Bad guy after all or a good guy not understanding what the heck is going on? Where am I now? Was I already? Oh, I was already here before, wasn't I? Okay, yeah. Gotcha. So, where's the last clue in this room? Last clue be. 
be out here after all. Nothing? Okay, that was a bit strange. Hmm. Anything I missed on the tables, perhaps? No? to facts relate to the bell killer. Oh yeah. All of it. Bell killer targets for one. Symbol on painting. Hello? Maybe Baxter? Although I feel that's a little bit tricky. Oh, what's that? Puritan mediums or sight? We don't know if Baxter has to do with the bell killer case, but he did touch that painting. Okay, so the bell good. killer is targeting mediums because he thinks they're witches. That's insane. Who do I know that's interested in mediums? Baxter. Baxter. <laughs> what suspicious behavior has Baxter exhibited during- well, that one in the museum for one. Promotion? No. Looking for the girl? Baxter hid the book. Looking for the girl. Bell killer? I- Bell killer? No. Looking for the girl then? Okay. And why the hell is Baxter involved in this? He dropped the case when he was demoted. Oh, okay. All right, we found the killer's symbol. We got a suspect to look into. We're almost there. And not one step closer to finding my mom. Well, like maybe I she'll... said, the world doesn't need another whiner. You know what? Screw oh, you. You. You don't understand. Don't understand? My wife was murdered three years ago. She got to float up into the white light, and I got stuck here in this place with some bitchy teen. Oof. Ugh. Your mom's been missing what? Two, three days. Huh? And I guarantee you, we'll find her. If I fail, if we fail, I'll never get to see Julia again. Ever. We won't fail. I don't need a cheerleader. <coughs> Look, I'm sorry I didn't know about your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we need to act on the information we found. You head off to the church. The church? Where are you going? Baxter's our prime suspect. I need to get over to his apartment and see if I can dig up any skeletons. Probably not a good idea for a fugitive to visit a cop. Fine, I'll meet you later. Baxter's suspicious behavior surrounding this case points to him being a bell killer suspect. I need to find him. Well, it doesn't help that you're indeed drawing him, showing him, I mean, with the hoodie on. 
So, I mean... Exit the museum. Sure, I hope I didn't miss, uh... Miss anything up here with regards to the... Rock thing. I wanna jump all the way down, but then maybe the train might slam into my knees or something. <laughs> Knew it. Screw this game! Holy cow, the jump scare on that. <sighs> Slipping egg. I knew it, eh? I knew it. I absolutely flipping knew it. Jeez. I'm gonna kill all of these demons. Can demons go upstairs? I wonder. <laughs> it sounds like a dumb question, but who knows? Maybe they can't. Maybe they just non-stop float all the time and they actually can't, you know, go up. I don't know. This kinda sucks. <laughs> I don't... I don't know where I can exactly go to first, so I need to wait until the demon turns around a bit so I can... Oof. Darn. Yes. Okay. I think this might be easier, but let's oh, stay there. <laughs> okay, when that other demon moves away. Oh, man. Come here. Come here, demon. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> Just <laughs> It's like slow dancing. Yeah, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming for you. Oof, I almost, I almost jumped out. And peace and quiet. Yeah. Okay, I think I go there for sure, but I just want to check I haven't missed it. Okay. I want to bet there's going to be another area like that, isn't there? No? Maybe? Is the train going to come by again? Nothing? Did the ghost train shut up? Okay, the ghost train shut up. Good. 
There's gonna be more demons, I just know it. I just got a text. Did you hear something else happen just now? Something bad. Someone told me about a murder. No, like this just happened. Police are all freaking out. What? What happened? I don't know. Sounds serious though. I have a bad feeling about tonight. Uh oh. This whole place is bad news. Uh oh. Police aren't even safe. Can't stop thinking about the dead cop. Well, it doesn't help that I'm inside you, does it? Ha! So, there's the last piece there, but how do I get there? Can I get there? So it wasn't just witchcraft that was there. Whoa, that, that, I did not expect that. I don't care about the plaques. Just for connecting purposes. Hey, dude. What made us derail that day? I always wonder. I don't know. Life. Life derails with all this stuff. Reveal. Completed. Yay, let's go watch this flashback. My husband and I stepped off the platform and onto the giant hissing locomotive. I remember looking back at our small town and thinking of all the happy memories we made there. But I was excited to start our new life in Salem. I, I must have dozed off because I was startled awake by the sound of screeching metal. And as the train came to a halt, all I could hear was the torrential rain pelting against the roof. And I looked out the window. There was only darkness. Then came the brightest flash of lightning I had ever seen. When my husband left to inquire about the delay, a woman in the back of the train started screaming. We rushed over to her and, and asked her what was wrong, but all she could manage to say through her sobs was something about seeing the spirits of the dead wandering in the rain. Stranger still were the passengers that were suddenly stricken with the painful memories of their past. It, it was at this point that I became truly terrified. So I set out to find Joe. When I reached the cab and still hadn't found him, I was worried. I looked out the front window and saw the train's conductor laboring to move a downed tree from the tracks. And there was Joe walking up to help. What's gonna happen? However, instead of grabbing hold of the tree, Joe bent down, what? picked up a rock, and crushed the conductor's skull with it. Why? When I left the train and ran up to him, I could see that this wasn't the Joe I once knew. Something had taken hold of him. Something angry. Then he saw something that terrified him. He dropped the rock and ran off into the woods. However, right before he disappeared into the trees, during a bright flash of lightning, I, I thought I saw something chasing him, hunting him. I can only describe it as a ghostly specter, cloaked in black. Mm. But more likely than not, it was just a shadow. The authorities spent days combing the woods for Joe. But he never turned up. I tried to go back home, but the memories were too painful. Some nights I lie in bed, tortured by the thoughts of what our life could have been if we had never stepped onto that train. That's kind of sad. Also, that must have been the demon chasing her then. Oh, yeah, him. Sorry. Oh, 
Alright, well that was that. Oh. What, uh... Did I just leave, or... I, I guess I just leave. You hear what that guy just said? Something horrible just happened at St. Benedict's. The church? What's going on in this town tonight? That's not good news. Hey, Rex! No? Oh. Okay, no. What happened? I hope it's not Iris. Why the hurry, boys? Where are you headed? Do I have to avoid demons in town now? Because that's going to be a pain. going on. I think there might have been another murder and I'm thinking would it be Iris? Which isn't a good thing. This is not how I Hey, I had revealed you, you douche. Harassed by Baxter. Rough day at work for my man. It took a while for him to be able to talk about it, but this Baxter fellow seems to be completely hostile toward Ronan. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's a mystery why there's so much animosity. Ronan has never done anything to offend him, but Baxter decided what kind of person Ronan was, and there's no convincing him otherwise. You can't teach some people. Why did I miss that letter, or did it only appear now for whatever reason? Really concerned here. St. Benedict's Church. And for that, I shall continue in the next part. So, <laughs> yeah. Good night, goodbye, and see you.